different countries. Basically, this is a curriculum that focuses, that tries to develop skills focused on a services-led economy, which is uh, very applicable to us right now. This is a multidisciplinary approach covering a lot of different areas, like computer science, like uh, management, uh, like uh, legal legal studies, and uh, we just the general approach of uh, trying to develop the service-oriented skills that are needed in today's uh, increasingly service-oriented uh, um, economy. Now we are trying to do that here in the Philippines. Um, we have a partnership between IBM, the CICT, and uh, BPAP as well to uh, push uh, the tertiary educational institutions here in the Philippines to adopt the SSME and start offering the courses. Um, we are, the, the first event that we're uh, actually holding is uh, a master class wherein a professor from Europe is going to come to give an overview of this program and that's going to be uh, actually two weeks from now. So um, hopefully we can get the ball rolling on this uh, program that will be very beneficial for the industry. In terms of infrastructure, uh, we also have, there are certain developments uh, going on. Um, well, one key one key component, especially in our next few cities, is the uh, availability of office space. And a driver of the uh, the uh, investors uh, looking into uh, property development are really the PESA incentives. Um, PESA, as you know, is provide, provide, promotes the establishment of uh, economic zones and provides fiscal and non-fiscal incentives to developers of property within the zones and to uh, IT services exporters. And so this has really been a, a strong driver for the development of, of uh, office space. Today, there are 130